Hi, this is Albert with Mainland Cycle Center. Today I want to show you a 2014 Kawasaki Ultra LX. So the Ultra LX, this is our 160 horsepower jet ski. It has our 1500cc inline four with fuel injection. Of course it's liquid cooled. Um, just a really solid motor. We've been using this engine uh, for a number of years now and it's just done really, really well. Uh, great hull. This is known as being a really good choppy water, a rough water boat, meaning it handles good and it has a smooth ride in choppy water, as well as in smooth water. They can all do it on smooth water. It's easy. Uh, but uh, the trick is to make one handle well in the choppy water, and this one does that really, really well. Uh, the hull has these spray strips, we call them. So these, these little deals on the hull here, these spray strips as water tries to come up the boat as you splash down into the water this water these spray strips knock that water back down which stops that water from coming over the front of the boat to where it can just soak you and uh, give you a face full of water ultra low emission jet ski has the rear boarding step on it there, so easy reboarding in uh, deep water. You've also got this really great handle down low, which I love, and then the handle up high. So it really makes reboarding in deep water really, really easy. Has uh, dual drain plugs, one on each side. These do have a stainless steel impeller also. Uh, great looking touring style seat with uh, a new vinyl for, uh, for 2014 that's uh, not gonna heat up nearly as fast as the previous vinyls. It's not gonna be as hot after sitting out in the sun. These do have reverse, and there's your reverse lever. These also have adjustable handlebars. So you can adjust those handlebars up and down just by pulling this lever right here. Now these jet skis also have what's called smart steering. Smart steering is a Kawasaki exclusive. You know, with these jet skis, there's no rudder on the back, okay? So you use the thrust coming out of this nozzle to turn you. So, with a jet ski, with most personal watercraft, most jet drives, if you let off the throttle and turn the handlebar, you're going to ha not have turning because you've got to have thrust to turn. The Kawasaki jet skis have what's called smart steering. If you're at speed and you let off the throttle and turn the wheel, it's going to give you off some thrust for off throttle steering. And it really is an amazing feature because it works really good. First time I heard about this, it really sounded kind of scary. and uh, But... Uh, when you ride one of these, uh, give that a try. Let off the gas and turn the wheel and you'll notice the jet ski steers and it's very natural feeling and it really works well. So smart steering is a Kawasaki exclusive on our three passenger jet skis. Uh, we've got a front storage compartment so you open your front hatch there. You've got a little storage tray here. This little tray bucket picks up and then you've got this massive 55 gallon a storage compartment in there. Really great. Carry all the stuff you want to carry out on the water. Uh, there's your fuel fill. 87 octane fuel this one will run on. Now there's your flush uh, to flush it out if you if you're riding in salt water. We're here on the Texas Gulf Coast so uh, we do ride in the Gulf of Mexico where it's salt water. So when you come in from riding in salt water you need to flush them out. If you want to run it like during the winter time during the off season you just want to run it you can hook your water hose up there to run it out of the water. Uh, you do have a little storage compartment here. It's actually pretty good size. I said little. I shouldn't have, but it's little compared to the front one. Uh, and you have two keys. I don't have the keys. They've already been put away with the file. But uh, there's a yellow key and an orange key, a full power for the orange and uh, a reduced power or smart learning operation mode or slow mode for the yellow key. And so depending on which key you put in there will determine how much power you have. Really great digital instrumentation and everything you need. Fuel gauge, tachometer, speedometer, uh, hour meter clock, all of that good stuff. Warning lights, everything. Pretty standard controls. Your lanyard will click under here. Your start button, your throttle there. But, uh, really, really great. Uh, comes standard with hydro turf mats. So really good looking mats. And I think this is a beautiful ski, this black uh, with the green graphics and this uh, metallic white in it. Just really, really looks beautiful. Let's take a look at the motor. So this is a two-piece seat and the rear seat comes off 
because there's a storage tray right here so to access this little storage compartment these little ducts these holes ports are uh, they're actually ducts they're they allow this is how you get fresh air into the boat the seat doesn't set down on top of these there's actually a gap and so uh, that's how you get fresh air in the hull because it's an internal combustion engine it needs fresh air to run so you can't seal the jet ski up completely and then uh, there's your motor so it's a inline four cylinder inline for sorry the seat just about blew off inline four cylinder um, dual overhead cam four valve 1500 cc's is 1498 cc's i believe uh, but it's rated at 160 horsepower they really perform well it's a really proven motor and uh, they just have done fantastic and you can see here the stainless steel hardware these jet skis are really very high quality and these are built in lincoln nebraska and uh, it's a fiberglass hull. The bottom part of the hull is uh, hand laid fiberglass. And then the uh, top part of the hull, the top half of the hull, is made out of a material called sheet molded compound. And uh, just really makes a nice finish on that SMC. But the uh, fiberglass, the hand laid fiberglass, is extremely strong. So just really great, great quality with these Kawasaki jet skis. Uh, it does have mirrors. I don't think I mentioned that. This little deal right here is called a water bypass outlet. Anytime you're either in the water running or hooked to the hose running, you should have water coming out of here. This just lets you know that there's water in the cooling system. And so it's just a visual that you do have water in the cooling system. All right, that's a look at the 2014 Kawasaki Ultra LX. We are Mainland Cycle Center. We're located in Lamarck, Texas. We're about 30 minutes south of downtown Houston, just off of I-45. You can find us online at mainlandcyclecenter.com, by phone at 409-948-4969, and we'd love it if you give us a call, shoot us an email, or even better, come by and see us in person here at Mainland Cycle Center, where we'd love to help any way that we can. Hey, thanks for watching.